Cotton growers, researchers, and industry leaders all gathered under one roof in New Orleans for the Beltwide Conference. It was a chance for them to check out the latest technology and industry trends, as well as reflect on a rough 2018. This all prices fall from nearly a dollar to just 70 cents over the back half of the year. And the main reason for that was the international markets. Started out 2018, went through the first half of the year with a lot of optimism, and then really we saw uh, the trade issues with China be one of the things that uh, has has come to bear on the market. And the fact that China's imposing a retaliatory tariff of 25% on U.S. cotton, that's really just about cut off that market to U.S. cotton. We know they're looking at alternative growths. We're hearing reports of Brazilian cotton going into China. Uh, so I think that's one of the key factors right now that's been a real bear on cotton prices. That's why I think we're seeing those prices on the futures market trading in the low 70s. It's a problem Congress hopes to alleviate with the passing of a new farm bill. And while it's not a cure-all, it is a step in the right direction for the growers. We are excited about the new farm bill. Uh, it is a, a solid safety net under cotton producers. It continues the seed cotton program that was first authorized in early 2018. So that will continue that program from 2019 through the 2023 crops. Uh, it also still maintains a very uh, effective marketing loan program. Uh, actually does re uh, reduce some of the uh, burden on the, on the payment limit side. Uh, so I think overall we're encouraged. It also continues to support to our U.S. textile industry. So I do think as that, pro as that farm bill is being implemented, cotton farmers are going to find that to be a, a good safety net for them going forward. For the farmers around the southeast, disaster relief is still a priority as they continue to try and recover from Hurricane Michael. And while the progress has been slow, it's still an issue the government is very aware of. Uh, we know Congress tried to make some efforts before the end of the year that didn't uh, have attraction. Uh, there's some efforts right now on the House side uh, to restart another vehicle that could bring some disaster assistance. That's something we're continuing to advocate for as well. So hopefully the, uh, Congress will move forward and that'll give producers uh, some assistance. Uh, we don't have any uh, real insight yet on timing, but certainly there's an interest there. There's going to continue to be a push because we know there's a need there. As for the new year, there is still plenty of optimism as supplies are likely to get tighter and the demand is back on the rebound. There is a lot of potential and I go back to uh, to the market and the demand that's out there. We're seeing global demand for cotton right now be the highest it's been in a decade. So that we're on the upswing in terms of cotton demand coming back. That's a definite positive. We look at some key markets such as China. They have worked down the mountain of stocks that they had. They're back to a point now where they're going to be coming back to the world market, probably somewhere in the range of 12 to 15 million bales of imports from all sources. Reporting from New Orleans, I'm Damon Jones for the Farm Monitor.